Today I'm going to show you how I use Node-RED and Home Assistant to create alerts whenever there's a flood detected using one of these Shelly flood sensors. If you haven't checked out my previous video where I unboxed and set it up in Home Assistant, be sure to check that out. I'll link that below. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, we're going to go into no, uh, Home Assistant, and then we're going to open up our Node Red editor. We'll find a blank tab up here, and there's three filter nodes that we're going to use, or three nodes we're going to use on the left hand side here. One is going to be a uh, an event, so we're going to capture an event from the flood sensor. And we're going to do a function, which we will do use to rewrite uh, some some uh, text so that we can then send it out to a pushover alert. So I'm going to find the pushover API, and we're going to use these three nodes, and they'll be all connected here in just a minute. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what device that we're going to alert against and that's going to be the Shelly flood sensor and since I only have one right now it would be super simple to find that. So I'm going to call this kitchen flood as the flood sensor name. Obviously I'll be doing home assistant here and then my sensor ID or my entity ID will be Shelly binary sensor Shelly and it's, since I didn't rename it we'll just call it this one the flood sensor or we'll just choose this one the flood sensor since I know that's the correct one and we'll output on connect and what that does is it checks the status whenever you restart node assistant or node red or restart home assistant and that's all we need to do with that one for our function what we're going to do is we're going to call it I call it something like notify uh, flood or kitchen flood and we're going to return a message and this message is going to look like this so message equals, and this is JSON. So my payload is going to be kitchen flood. My topic is also going to be kitchen flood. Now I'm not sending this to MQTT, I'm sending this to pushover, but it's the same. Uh, make sure we have our commas. It's the same as you would potentially do to something like MQTT. Our priority is a function of the node red I'm sorry it's a function of the pushover uh, API and priority 0 is the highest priority which means it will bypass um, the the this do not disturb on my device and tell me that I have an issue because if it's flooding I want I'm going to want to know so priority 0 and then you can choose from a, a series of sounds that are available in the pushover API up down is kind of a very annoying loud sound which is what I want if my uh, my kitchen is flooding or having a flood alert and then of course we'll return the message back so again the message uh, body is a payload of kitchen flood topic of kitchen flood a priority of zero which is the highest priority you can do in uh, pushover and then a sound of up down and then a return message. Alright, so that one is done. And you'll notice as I add the names of these that the names here change from from something generic or long to something a little more readable. And then finally what I'm going to do is uh, the pushover API. And I just double click that. And I'm just going to use the node red pushover. There's nothing special here. Nothing else I need to do. Um, I could name it if I wanted to, but I'll just use the generic nothing to do. Alright so now what you want to do is connect all of these together and one thing I forgot to do on the the state node is to give it a state because what I don't want it to do is alert me whenever it's uh, whenever it alerts and also whenever it clears so we're gonna give it a state of on and so what that means is that anytime the flood sensor alerts which then it sends it on to home assistant it will send me an alert when it clears I won't get a another a subsequent alert 
Now you can leave this blank and get an alert when it alerts and get an alert when it clears, but that's up to you. I only want to alert whenever it starts alerting, not when it's finished. And when you do that, you will also get two outputs here. So if your state is true, which means if the state is what I put in that text box, which is, which is on, then I want to get an alert. If it's false, I'm not going to do anything. So I'm going to connect the true node to the payload and then the payload to the pushover API. And when I do that, anytime I get an on indicator from the flood sensor, I will have this payload get sent to the pushover API, which will then show up on my devices and give me an alert that way. One other thing you can also do is you can take a, something like a, um, you can't really see this, I'm just going to copy like this Gmail sensor. You can take this Gmail sensor, which I created in, in this other tab, I'm going to just paste it over here for demonstration. And you can also take the output of the payload you and send it to Gmail or whatever email system that you use. Yeah, Both the pushover API and the Gmail connector the are created before I had this within Node-RED. You set all that up in advance, time. and that's outside of what I'm going to show in this video. But you have to set those up first, and then you can, you can use those as uh, sources or, or destinations for events and different things in Node-RED. So I'm not going to use the Gmail on this one, just going to use the, uh, the pushover API. Once you do all of this, then you can hit your deploy button. And now essentially it's saved within Node-RED and it's ready to go. You can see where I've placed the Shelly flood sensor underneath the sink. The ironic part is that the sink flooded because the faucet broke before I had this sensor put in place, but now we'll be protected next time. That's all there is to configuring Note Red and an alert using the Shelly Flood Sensor on Home Assistant. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And as always, subscribe and like so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Cheers!